J J J, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com. Listen, guys, your boy is back. All right. So people have been asking me, Hey Joe, do I need a MacBook? Do I need a MacBook Pro? Do I need an iMac? Do I need a Mac Mini to actually do development? And I will say, no, you don't need a MacBook Pro for this or any type of Mac system, right? Any operating system for Mac. But what I will say is one thing. Most of the community, as far as the open source uh, community, everybody uses MacBooks, right? Especially MacBook Pros and you know iMacs and at home they might have a Mac Pro, whatever it is, right? But almost everybody uses Mac OS X, right? Now, when you go to different companies, they might be using C Sharp, they might be using Java. A lot of those companies they use something that's called Windows, which is pretty much the worst operating system that's out there but real developers and not not to throw some shade on you guys that are using windows but the real developers in the community the, the guys that are doing amazing things for you guys like you know that bring you Node.js that bring you uh you know react or redux everybody uses mac so it's straight mac os x right now some people might be like, oh man, why do I have to use a Mac when it's so super expensive? And it's like, man, you could buy a Mac used and you're good. You could start doing web development right away. You don't have to go and spend $3,000 on the best Mac, you know? But it feels good when you go to the Apple store. And, you know, let me get that right there. Let me get that MacBook. Let me get that. Like, you feel good. There's a good feeling about it. You're like, okay, I, I earned it. You know what I mean? It's not the same thing as going to Best Buy in the shitty uh, back section where they have a whole bunch of Windows PC and as soon as they come in they give you a Windows PC, they gotta dust it off because nobody wanted it. Man, that's a big difference, guys. But, <laughs> but in reality, guys, you don't need a Mac to actually become a web developer. Don't expect things to come in easy, meaning like, hey, you want to work on Ruby? Hey, you gotta do a workaround to use it on Windows. You want to do something like Node.js? There's a, an executable file, but it's not even as good as what you will get in Mac. Or you wanted to use something like Crystal Lang. Man, on Windows it's not working as good as it would on a Mac. And that happens all the time. Since, I mean, since the beginning of time, guys, literally it's been like this. PCs have been for the home computer. You know, that's the first computer you get when you're a little kid and your mom is like, oh, what do you want to get, kid? You want a computer? Here's a computer. That's what you get when you're a little kid, right? As you grow in your career and you become more professional and you have a little money in your pocket, invest into a Mac, man. Like your life is gonna be so much easier and so much better. It's built for professionals, by professionals. There's a big difference. If you're just gonna use the internet for what it is, just for internet browsing and just watching videos on YouTube, fine, you're gonna do great with just a, a regular PC. But, you know, you gotta tip your hat to basically Mac right now. You know, Apple, what Steve Jobs did, you know, he always thought about making the computers for the professionals. You know, and there's a reason why so so many professionals, developers actually use it. You know, I'll be honest, it's, it's very rare to find developers that are really good in the open source community using a Windows computer. So when you go to a GitHub project, when you go to um, anything that's brand new, like without having to be through enterprise and all of that shit, right? You're always gonna find the easy route is just, hey, install it through Mac. You know, it's just so much easier. Like when you have Mac just give you everything that you need and you can hit the ground running, man, that's a blessing. GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you wanna know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret, it's nothing crazy, it's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much, I took the courses 
they're pretty cheap they're like $15 each on specials and just listen man change your life change your lifestyle do something fun and something cool that you could call a career Bow.